we're back with another episode. This episode of the Face Off with Fleming and Fowler is sponsored by MyApothecary.com. MyApothecary is the premier online destination for hemp-derived CBD that will help you curate a wealthy lifestyle. The views, thoughts, and opinions expressed during the Face Off with Fleming and Fowler podcast series are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent any specific employer, organization, committee, or other group or individual. The primary purpose of this podcast series is to educate and inform. This podcast series does not constitute medical or other professional advice or services. All right, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of the Face Off with Fleming and Fowler. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. Mm -mm. Well, welcome back for you. You just came back in town. Yes, I did. You loser. I swear you keep going on fucking vacations. You know, I have a Sagittarius moon. What does that mean? It means I'm flighty. and I like to take off when I feel stressed. You're flighty. Mm -hmm. So you're a flight risk is what you're saying. Yeah. <clears throat> Noncommittal and um, okay. I would rather just ghost you, just dip the fuck out, run away. Wow. Um, it's been working pretty well the last 27 years. I'm not going to change it now. I guess. You just left me at work by myself. I, I Honestly, biggest <coughs> regret was leaving you at work by, my, by yeah, yourself. Yeah, I bet. Uh-huh. Probably plan on going somewhere else, you bitch. I, did. <laughs> I, I took some time away to plan my next trip away. <laughs> right. You needed more help. That's all right. That's why I had a fun week without you. Yeah, if it makes you feel better, Florida was fucking hot and humid. and uh, I told you. There were so many people there. Yeah. So many people. I was yeah. exhausted from just walking and being around people. I walked Do you want to tell people where you went? I went to Universal Studios in Orlando, okay. Florida. Cool beans. I can tell you now because I'm not there and I'm not scared that people are going to stalk me. I don't think you have to worry about that. Yeah, I'm going to have to do the We're Kylie Jenner yet. shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're not famous yet. So I were like, oh, later, Graham. Here I was in the Maldives. Now I can tell you all because... I was there five weeks ago, so yeah. go visit this restaurant. It was fine. You know what? Speaking of my trip, I had some thoughts while I was there. Would you like to hear them? Yes, I absolutely. was drunk and I wrote them down. You were drunk on the flight? No, I was drunk at the park. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you go to or Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida with your family, yeah. go straight to Hogsmeade in Harry Potter World. Go to the bar there. Get the Long Island iced tea with raspberry tea. Because you're trying to be healthy? Because you're trying to be healthy. Okay. It's the strongest drink in the park. <laughs> And Did you ask them that? Hey, what's your strongest drink here? I spent 15 minutes on the internet researching. Wow. I was like, I need to do the damn thing here That's now. crazy. There was too many kids there. They're all crying. How do you go? But, okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Let me start from the start. Yeah, start from the beginning. Okay, from the beginning. Being drunk at a theme park is a blessing and a curse. Why? It's a blessing because I can deal with everyone. Very right? true. It's a curse because you then have to keep up the buzz. It's expensive as shit. And you also just don't. How much was it for one drink? So I always went to order two and it was like $23. <laughs> my, let's do, my mom ordered three butter beers, which is like the Harry Potter drink, and yeah. three bottles of water. And it was $50. God dang. Yeah. And I was like, this is not it. Yeah, for a bottle me. of water at a theme park is like $10. Yeah, it's, it's insane. really like $15 a drink, which is yeah. standard. But it's just so. Like, I cannot deal with people. It's yeah. just like no one has. Um, common sense at a theme park because there's so much going on mm -hmm. so they're bumping into you and they're not looking where they're going and no one has like a sense of purpose i need you to walk to where you need to be yeah no one's doing that well the theme parks are so huge too so that's part of the problem i know um also tiktok ruined mixed race couples for me and it's very hard going i don't know if you've been you've been to like disney world in orlando oh right? yeah all i've mm -hmm. never seen more mixed race couples than i have at theme parks really i don't know if it just brings it out well because everybody's traveling so these are not people that actually live in florida they're just from everywhere else right Right. that's part of the problem and um so well, i'm used to seeing like i'm used to seeing like blended families yeah. like it looks like a bunch of adopted kids with right. these parents running around but i always see yeah. like and when i talk about when i think mix like multiracial couples i'm thinking like yeah. black dad white mom right right so have you seen that tiktok going around where that black guy is like um black guys who date or marry white women are dl 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I did see that. Okay, yeah. and everyone's like, no, that's not true. And he's like, I'm just saying I was black and dated white girls for years because they would never ask questions. <laughs> and is he gay? Yes. Yeah. He was like, I would always, he was like, my white girlfriend, he's like, him and his roommate were hooking up. They were both dating white girls. And the like, his girlfriend found him in bed with his roommate. And they were like, oh, we were drunk. No, I didn't see that part of the and he video. Was like, he was like, I say these things because I know a lot of wow. black men on the DL who date white women specifically because they don't ask questions. They're very gullible. They just... They don't ask questions like black women do. They and don't. Black women will kill you. When they exactly. That's what he said. He was yeah. like, black women don't fucking put up with that shit. That's so true. every fucking couple I saw, I was just like, they're on the DL having a fucking <laughs> <laughs> crisis in my head as they're oh like there gosh. with all their little, they're like little light skinned kids, and I'm just like, do they know? Do y'all know? How are they gonna know? Nobody's gonna fucking know. TikTok. Stay off TikTok. Yeah, TikTok's the devil, but we love it. Um, another question: How do you go to theme parks with kids and no nanny? I don't get it. I don't, I don't know, because my parents, they took us to a theme park. I mean, we used to go to Disney World all the time. We used to go to Universal Studios all the time. Um, and I remember my dad took us one particular year, and it was just me and my two sisters. I don't, I, think, I don't know where my oldest sister was at the time, but she wasn't there. Anyway, we took our raggedy trip to Georgia, as we always did. <laughs> um, anyway, and so when we came back, we, we stopped off at Six Flags. This is when Six Flags, you know, of Atlanta, when they took it out of uh, Florida because of Hurricane Andrew blew it down. Anyway. And so my dad was just sitting outside waiting on us like, all right, it, how many more outside rides? Outside of the park? No, no, no. Like, like outside of the ride oh, where, we were, okay. where we were trying to go on. Because he didn't go on any of the rides. And my mom was like, uh, I think I'll stay here too. I'm like, we'll just wait for y'all. Just We'll meet y'all when y'all get out. And there were no cell phones at that time. So it was like, yeah. what did y'all do? Just sit there and converse? In the heat? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. No, but I, I'm just I staring at, like, there's a distinct time when every child under six in that park has a meltdown. And oh, yeah. Nap time. And nap I'm just time, like, absolutely. so you're telling me I'm paying all this fucking money to bring your ass here. You're probably not even going to remember it. And you're going to have a meltdown a third of the way into yeah. the day. I'd be pissed. Yeah, we're supposed to be taking uh, Liam for my nephew to uh, Disney World, I think, for his fifth birthday. Um, I, all I got to say is I'm renting one of the little scooters so that you can ride around in because mm -hmm. I'm not walking that theme park. Dude, so he I'm going to buy you some Crocs. Listen, I will spoil him. And if you have a meltdown, you can have a meltdown all you want to. I'm not holding you in my little cart. You're going to yeah. just walk and do whatever you do. And that, okay, I would assume it's different because they live in Florida. Yeah. Right? So, like, you're busy. It's a big deal, but it's not like you're flying there to go no, to this park. No, you just drive. You can right? drive for the day. But I'm just like, if I'm going to spend all this money to take your ass to this theme park yeah. and you're going to cry because you didn't get the toy you want or you're hot or you don't want to walk anymore, I'm going to fucking lose my shit. Yeah, definitely. I think a lot of parents do end up losing their shit and they or kids who don't want to leave and then oh, it's hard to yank yeah. them the hell out of the, out of the and park. like kids that run away like i'm gonna need a leash oh, for my yeah. kid yeah definitely but they have the good thing about a lot of these theme parks they have very like top-notch security so yeah. you lose your kid you're getting his ass back <laughs> like you're not anyway, i have not heard of honestly any not say that it doesn't happen i have not heard of any child abductions at theme parks yeah i would assume it's carnivals I mean, yes dude even to, so to get into Universal, you scan your ticket and then they have your fucking fingerprint? Yeah, they do. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, chill the fuck out. Yeah, but they have to because it's, I mean, I was like, we're coming out of a pandemic and everyone's just putting their fucking finger on this thing. Oh, I didn't like that. I mean, you flew on a plane, ma'am. I did do that. And you're saying you stood in, stayed in the hotel, Dude, correct? I did. Two girls got kicked off our flight because they didn't want to wear masks. Did you see who else got kicked off a flight? Well, they were they were black. Yeah. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that sounds like us. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> did you see that one video of that girl who was duct taped to duct her seat on the American to the yelling, Airlines? screaming? <laughs> this one girl was just like, "How do y'all duct tape a fucking human?" Who has duct tape a on a chair? fucking flight? <laughs> do you have well, I, duct tape is a resourceful thing? You well, need to have that in the apocalyptic they need in an your, air your bug out bag. If you have a bug out bag, if you don't know what that is, Google it. You always have duct tape in your bug out bag. Just saying. Don't use painter's tape. It has Dude, to be but you are on TikTok. A bug out bag? No, I've had that before even I saw it on TikTok. Oh, really? Ma'am, I'm an apocalyptic guru. That's true. Yes. Um, my last thing is, okay, people who enjoy roller coasters, we are not the same. You don't enjoy roller coasters? Fuck no i can't ride them anymore but i love roller if coasters. someone even comes up behind listen y'all at work my de my computer face is away from the door so if yeah. anyone comes in i cannot see them and if someone approaches me from the rear and then i just see their face i literally have this gotcha, visceral bitch. reaction where i'm like <laughs> like gas my yeah. whole body you get scared very i get easily. scared i don't fucking like that shit yeah. so something whipping me around and draw all that shit and no <laughs> so my like 8 a.m we get to the park early because we stayed on property so you get yeah. early admission you like haul ass to this ride i don't even know what it is i hate roller coasters my brother's like it's fine i'm thinking it's a baby ride he's like it's fine it's fine we get on this ride and immediately i'm like i see the like i see this is not gonna be all right <laughs> i can tell he's like no no it's gonna be fine 
Yo, the whole time my mom was like, "You did not look like you were enjoying yourself." I fucking wasn't. I was. It went backwards. It's super fast. Well, it your has back drops. is fucked up right now. My back is fucked up. There's a part where the whole ride just goes and yeah. just drops you. you know, what was the ride called? Um, it's called. It's a small world after all. That's not universal. That's <laughs> it's Disney. called Dumbo. Uh, no, it's <laughs> called Flight of the Hippogriff. Is that a Harry Potter thing? No, that's not right. It's called Hagrid something. That's in, that's in Harry it's Potter. It's in Harry Potter. Oh, world. okay. Um, and I literally the whole time was just like making myself into a ball and yeah. br- like talk about personal breathing. That's all I was doing. I was like <laughs> forcibly exhaling and inhaling through my nose just to try to like get it together. Get it together. Um, wow. So I just don't understand how that's thrilling to anyone. I but. love I love roller coaster rides. Shout out to two of my aunts. I don't know that I want to say their names, but two of my aunts. You guys know who they are. I mean, you know who you are. <laughs> you guys um, know who they are. One of them. I didn't tell one you. of my aunts starts with an M. The other one starts with a P. But they are the aunts Melanie that ride. And Persephone. Their, <laughs> very true. Yeah, did you know? Um, they are the aunts that ride rides with all the kids. So anytime we went to like the county fair and stuff, and even when we did go to like Bush Gardens or Disney World together and stuff, they always hopped on these rides. And I'm just like in my brain they were like super old but and they're probably like 40 years <laughs> they're probably old. like 30 years old or something <laughs> at the time but yeah they always rolled the rides with us and it was super fun so i love riding roller coasters love it absolutely love it oh y'all are wild yeah so i don't know that i don't, I don't know as i'm getting older i feel like i'm getting vertigo or something so i don't know how that's gonna work you out need with to get my your nephews. ears cleaned up i do i want to go to that place in houston houston the radiologist yeah mm-hmm. radiologist isn't it a She's not a radiologist. Audiologist. Audiologist. I was like, uh, yeah, I need to get my, my I swear I have this huge wax ball in my ear. I know that's probably TMI, but um, my PCP tried to get it out and she couldn't get it out. So I definitely need to go to either ENT or an audiologist to get it out. How so, was your week without me? Um, my week was actually pretty good. Like, okay. Nothing super crazy. I mean, as far as patient wise, I had really, really good patients. Nobody was a booger. Nobody yelled or screamed or cussed me out, which was great. Um, it's always nice when that happens. Yeah, it was. It was a, actually a pretty calm week when you weren't here. I mean, it was a little boring because it wasn't as loud as you know mm-hmm. it usually is. But um, no dog and pony show. No, I just feel like everybody keeps trying to go on vacation or calling in and shit, and I'm just like, hey, I'm here by myself. Because people are fucking over it. Well, that's very true, especially at our job. Anyway. I feel like I used to be like, oh, I really don't want to call in. Like, oh, it really taxed me to call in. No, I'm always plotting when my next time to call in. Yeah, but now I could give two shits. Yeah, I'm like, no. oh. Hmm, no. I haven't been to work in six weeks. Mm-hmm. Ah, I gotta call in tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, you're gonna get a point. Who fucking cares? <laughs> point, point. How many points can I get? Okay, I'm I'm riding on trying <laughs> Ride to get the, the points. Line, yep, yeah, trying to get points. Absolutely. How many points can I get? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but yeah. So um, speaking of your flight of you know uh, on the backs of that young lady who was <laughs> duct taped to a fucking chair, man. If you duct tape me to a goddamn chair, I'm suing the shit out Here's of you. Here's when I'll start screaming more when you forcibly thank you attach me to my seat. Yeah, and th- th- she was just so sweet. She was just like, help me, please, please help me please help me and i'm just like i wonder like Y'all. what do we know what got her there they said it was something some kind of like mental health crisis but you know anytime anybody lashes out they'll always blame it on something she mental health having regarded. like a psychotic break and she like, could be they were against her and now if she was trying to, to exit the door of yeah. the plane while it was in the air duct tape that bitch okay but if not let's put the duct tape away i you know what they kept her on and props to them because when those girls had to get off our flight earlier they have to re calibrate plane no they had to recalibrate the whole place we were sitting there for like 20 minutes because oh, they yeah, had to the re- wait because of the weight what who, yeah. who fucking knew but that for two people that doesn't seem like people. they have to do all that she was thick They're i mean was <laughs> shut up <laughs> was the plane that backed it was it was a pack oh, y'all okay. the airport people are tr- thotting and bopping they out are here. well and this is why you have that pilot shortage right now there's a lot of pilots that or Listen. these companies need a lot of pilots and they were saying that pilots right now are being offered 247 dollars an hour and i'm like how quick can i become a pilot that, can i do it in like three months 90 days i quit my job right now 90 day pilot Let's well i don't know because i get sick when i go up in the plane <laughs> did i ever tell you about the time i passed out <laughs> no what the <laughs> My sister and I, shout out to my sister Selena. Anyway, I passed the hell out on a damn plane. We were going, I fainted. We were, (laughs) I've never fainted in my life before. I literally went to, we were, we were flying back home from Atlanta. This is when I lived in Atlanta. She drove from Carolina when she lived in Charlotte. We were dry. uh, We were flying home for mother's day. And the thing is, I have not, I have not been flying for forever. I, I think I first started flying in 2000 and, 13 oh really that was the first time i ever flew Whoa. it was in 2013 y'all just drove everywhere? we drove because i love driving i absolutely love driving and so we flew and, and the the times before when i flew i had no issues my ears didn't pop or anything this one pilot i don't know if this man was drunk or what but he took off way too fast <laughs> and when we took off i was just like <laughs> i was like I, and my sister was just laughing at me. I was like, oh my God, I, I don't have no control of my body. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I literally had no control off of my body. And my sister thought it was the funniest thing. And I'm like, bitch, I just passed out. <laughs> like, but I came back super fast. But I was just like, oh, my God. My ears were hurting so bad. So oh, every time I like, so shit. every time I I take off now, it is the worst feeling, and I feel super nauseous. I feel like the whole like I don't know gravity is just trying to pull me down. It's just you weird. know what you do about that? You Drink. take a fourth of a Xanax thirty minutes before you get on the plane. I've never taken Xanax before. Okay, take a fourth of a Xanax okay. right before you get on the plane. Gotcha. You're like this plane could crash, and if it's meant to be, it's just meant to be. And okay, let's not go out. that far. <laughs> that time, but I, like, there was a time in my life where I had to I had to take one every time I got on the plane because yeah. I was just so like. You know why? We went to Hawaii, and right before, I don't know why the fuck I did this, but I started watching Lost. Oh, why would you do Bitch, that? Oh, mistake. Why and then I started watching that? that stupid manifest show right before we went on this flight. Oh, like, yeah. Mm-mm. See you in five years, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. But my ears always do that shit where they pop. They don't pop. They get super stuffed, and they yeah. won't pop. We were in, We went to the Bahamas one time. We landed. My ears wouldn't pop. We were sitting there eating dinner. It felt like someone shot me in the side that of the head. That shit hurts. But I was like, I hate this. So now I don't have yeah. sympathy for anyone, because I'm like, yeah, I've been dealing with that forever. Well, at least you didn't pass out. I mean, Jesus. I, how I, do you, it was just the pressure? I the guess the pressure? He, I'm telling you, it was almost the like, plane just went, it was cl- like an apocalypse and... or something. Like the runway was falling down like tomorrow or 2012. Remember that movie, yeah, 2012? Yeah. And he just took off way too fast. And I was just like, <laughs> I literally, my whole head was, <laughs> and I woke up, I was like, uh, I can't move. Uh, Selena, I can't move. <laughs> Shit, I can't move. <laughs> you ever been in one of those, those, uh, those uh, fair rides where the thing goes super fast around and around and you're just stuck to the side? That's literally how I felt. I couldn't I know what you mean. When the plane takes off fast, and you kind of do the jolt back. Yeah, you can't. I was fucking stuck. I could not. I was paralyzed. I was serious. I was seriously paralyzed, and I was just like, "Bitch, I can't move." I, I fucking, and she was losing it by the you piss just her gave pants. Up. You're funny. I was like, up. "Oh, this, this is the end. This is the, God damn it. This is the." I That's why drove. you like apocalyptic shit. You know what it's like to be. In yes, the I didn't. I don't ever want to go through that again. That was horrible. Oh, I'm fucking dead. But uh, speaking of flights, also too, uh, Richard Branson. Ever heard of him from Virgin Mobile? I do, but like. Explain Virgin Mobile to me. So Virgin, okay. I don't know who uses that, and I, he must own something <laughs> that, else. Uh, okay, but it's like he has an island. It's like the Virgin Island. He has that big plane. He has all the shit. But like, who the fuck uses Virgin he, Mobile? Nobody. People who buy it from Walmart. Like people in the two thousands. Maybe he owns Cricket too. I don't know. He has to. There. He just has to be like an angel investor. For yeah, because he's a billionaire. And I'm like, oh, that's like Arby's buying Dunkin' Donuts. How the who's buying roast beef Arby's sandwiches like dr- that? I mean, I do fuck with Arby's, but like once every six months. Nobody ever. No. Nobody's ever in the drive. And a bunch Arby's. of the Arby's just got re like uh, renovated. It's that doc- Dunkin' Donuts money. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. But anyway, Richard Branson of Virgin Mobile, he actually successfully successfully successfully. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of porn stuff from, yeah, Virgin Mobile. Um, he successfully actually took a trip to the edge of space, and he's now trying to make an industry for out of space travel or tourism. Okay, Dick, what's the edge of space? Please, fucking. Um, I think where he can get his ass right back, and he don't have to travel for three months to come <laughs> he back. He just dipped his toe into the fucking nebula like real a, quick, like and a came day right trip, back. like a slingshot. <laughs> We're just gonna shoot up to the edge of space real quick. Yeah. Well, apparently he's trying to make a a, a industry out of it. Um, So let me ask you this question: Would you travel to space? Oh fuck no! I don't even like roller coasters. You want me to go? Uh, I've seen the astronaut movies, bitch. I know how that shit looks. And and you think you think ain't nothing on Mars? It's always an extraterrestrial somewhere lurking around. Nothing freaks me out more than that movie. Oh, I don't even know what space movie it is, but the one where she's just floating. Oh, with uh, Sandra Bullock and um. I was about to say Danny Glover. It's not. It's not interesting. Um, no, it's. Um, oh, I know what you're talking about. Someone, I don't, no, it's not called Out of Space. Screaming this right now. Uh, George Clooney is in it as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, called. Uh, it, fuck. It's probably called Out of Space. I think it's called Out of Space. There's no way it's a movie called Out of Out of Space. I, I bet you a quarter. It's called Out of Space. Okay. I bet you a quarter. It's called. Get gravity gravity something it's called outer space <laughs> um <laughs> that shit scares the fuck out of me like yeah, just me spinning out nothing to hold on to nothing to grab you you're just there you can't hear anything because there's no sound you're fucked I, you're you're no. gonna end up in a black hole like you're gonna run out of oxygen anyway and you're just gonna die like or if, if the sun don't bake your ass first it appeals to me because i grew up watching fucking xenon what is Xenon? girl of the do you've never seen xenon no what xenon girl of the 21st century you have and raymond simone was in it no and protozoa no when did that movie come out i don't know anything but raymond xenon, simone xenon, other than the the sequel, girl of the 21st century it came out in 1999 best movie there was ma'am i was in the ninth grade 
never heard of that's a kid's movie Fuck okay no. well she is a space girl like she did you get a new phone case yeah it says my name oh that's cute like that? okay where'd you get that from uh the internet i'll have to get you one. Oh, cool um, beans. basically you this girl lives on a spaceship like it's people live in space mm. from america they flew up there and her parents live on it and it was so cool they had a one to- token black girl and the, yeah raven was the one token black girl Shame um up. you need to watch that okay cool Wow, zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom, supernova. Please girl. let us know in the comments if you've ever heard of this movie. Zoom, or this zoom, is a movie zoom. or a show? It's a movie, but there's movie. three of them. It was so good. They made three Xenon, wow. Xenon the sequel, Xenon something else. You're really dedicated to this. It was great. It was the best wow. Disney, one of the best Disney movies. Okay, well, cool. Disney I'm, Channel Originals. Okay, cool beans. I, mm, but anyway, maybe? to answer your question, I would love to go to space if it was like Xenon. I'm not going because I, A, don't trust Richard Branson for shit. No. B, what's that travel look like? C, do I just get to go to the edge? That's it? What's up there? No, I don't even want it. Some things should not be explored in space. I think it's one of them. Remember that time that spaceships blew up? Thank you. Yeah. I remember that. They went up in the air and 15 seconds later, they were all dead. So we're not trying to do that. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. No. No, it ain't for me, dog. No. Uh, so but I know so Jeff that's Bezos. A no that's a no for me, too. Oh, they're in a race, right? Yeah, because he's the first billionaire to go. And Jeff Bezos is trying to go as well, too. And I'm just like, what are y'all not telling Jeff us? Jeff Bezos is shaking in his fucking boots. But you know, if billionaires... Here's the thing about billionaires that I, that I think is very sad. You have to be so bored with your money that you bought enough cars, you bought enough houses, you've invested enough, you got enough sitting in the bank that you're like, you know what I need to do? Fucking space. You're bored out of your mind. They'll never be happy because they don't understand the concept of enough. Yeah, they don't. They Neither really do don't. I. But and both of them have been broke scale. before. Like Jeff Bezos was broke before Amazon. Like so, he knows what that feels like. Yeah. So it's not even about the construct of money. It's just like, mm, how much more power can I? Get I would now? like a psychoanalysis. I want to profile on these men in their childhood, and I want to see what it is. Oh, they're absolutely psychopaths. Like and what turns you into someone who's motivated enough to become a millionaire? Other than the fact that you're white and it was like yeah, easier for you. I bet it's not going to nine to five jobs. I can guarantee you that. Neither one of them got <laughs> no. came to be a billionaire by going to a nine to five. But there's a lot of billionaires who don't do crazy shit like try to make it to space. So like what? Well, we do have one billionaire that actually is trying to kill off the face of the earth. Uh, well. Uh, what's his name? Bill Gates. Bill allegedly. Gates. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's the kind of power I want. Mm. I don't know that I want that much power. I don't even want to be a, bi- a billionaire. Millionaire is fine. Most times millionaire is fine for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't because I think again, money do, only creates on, money only makes whatever is already in you exacerbate, but it doesn't turn you into somebody different. It only exactly. like magnify. Mm-hmm. It only uh, magnifies who you actually are. So I'm these trying are already to be crazy people. Okay with being a thousandaire so that I attract the energy of millionaire. Do you know what I mean? Are you here for that? Yeah, like if I have to be okay with what I have to attr- to be okay within myself to then attract the positive energy to become a millionaire yeah i just don't want to work a nine to five yeah no Uh definitely not all right so let's go on to some uh olympic news some sports news so this week or this past week remember how we talked about allison felix who was an amazing sprinter and she you know um came out with her own brand of clothing this woman just is nonstop. she actually is getting ready to cover the cost of child care um for the athletes that are going to tokyo if they even get there how many olympic athletes have children i'm quite sure all of them right Cause except they're... for shakiri except for like the younger ones maybe? and coco probably the only two. Oh, and uh naomi probably, probably the only three that's expensive yeah that is that but is. also why isn't it already covered that's what i'm saying because they want to perpetuate and most of the i feel like there's more women than men yeah i was I just mean, gonna say because probably it's ma- I, it's male dominated and they think oh the men have someone to take care of their kids but i feel like deal. olympics is more wi- female dominated but i mean a lot of a lot of the guys I have kids too i would say maybe summer is but there's also male because of gym but uh, there's male gymnast oh well yeah but anybody can name one male gymnast mm, couldn't can't Bruh. both of them <laughs> Yeah, no, I I don't know. What are the statistics on that? I don't know, but there's probably not a single male gymnast that anybody knows. Nobody cares about them. Yeah, they never they, win. they do those um, the pummel horse. Yeah, and then they do like the little bar, not the bars, but the little rings or whatever. Who cares about that? Oh, Nobody yeah, cares about strongly, them. Yeah, yeah. No, you can't. No one can name a single male gymnast. We don't care. Mm-mm, can't do it. We don't care about you. Anyway, um, so but on the backs of that. With regard to the Tokyo Olympics, actually, there are protesters that are in Japan right now that are actually demanding the cancellation of the the Olympics because one of the COVID staff villagers or one of the village staffers, basically where they house the the athletes, mm-hmm. actually tested positive for COVID. So 
I just can't believe we're still having the Olympics. Well, even um Coco, Coco Golf, uh, the tennis player, she just tested positive, so she won't be able to go. How did she get COVID? That's what I'm saying. Who the fuck gave her COVID? I know that she should be locked the fuck down. This what, is do her parents have COVID? Because her parents are always with her, or she's always with her parents. I listen, coming from someone who just fucking traveled across the country, yeah. go to a theme park. I should have sprayed you down with lights all before you should. You came I in took here. multiple showers. But okay, um cool. my thing is Cancel the fucking Olympics. See, what, or I, just have it like they did uh, the NBA shit. Just do it closed in a bubble. Well, that's what they were trying to do. But the problem is all those people that are going to that particular country, you know, they people have literally practiced and have been working toward this for the last three to four years. But we couldn't have planned for them to get there two weeks early and quarantine and still be practicing. And then mm, I don't really know how that's working because they can't control the staffers already that are in Japan. That so that's like part of the problem. problem. That seems like that's a world problem because everybody's going back up. Like, I mean, yeah. a, a lot of these restrictions are going back up. Even like L.A. County is um, now um, they put back in their mask mandate situation where even if you're vaccinated, um, that they're requiring masks again because everybody's COVID numbers are going up. Our COVID numbers are going up. I heard about that. And people are trying to say, oh, it's the unvaccinated. No, the fuck is not. Because I can tell you all right now, people that are back in our hospital. These are people who've been vaccinated. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying all of them, but there are vaccinated and unvaccinated. Yeah, people but that, that was the whole in. thing always is you get the vaccine so that if you get COVID, it's not as, as bad. bad as it was supposed to be. So I don't yeah. understand why people. It never made sense to me why. Oh, if you're vaccinated, don't worry about the mask. Yeah, I think that was stupid. Because was then dumb. everybody should not worry about the mask. Right. Because the whole thing was get this vaccine so that potentially if you get COVID, yeah. it won't be as bad. And you're banking on this, you know, quote unquote, honor system of unvaccinated people you know wearing their masks but you have people who are vaccinated that are still wearing masks and you have people that are unvaccinated that are not wearing masks uh -huh. so nobody's being honorable here i mean like you can't yeah. expect americans to be honorable what the fuck we live in america we live in a literal america everybody's yeah, my body my rights so <laughs> there's no such thing as being honorable yo unfortunately. speaking of my body my rights did oh, you hear that in Texas, if you are helping someone have an abortion after the six week period you can be fined up to ten thousand dollars that's insane didn't they call it like abortion bounty hunting? Isn't that, yes. Isn't that the craziest sh What it's in the Texas. handmaid's tale? Thank you. White devil shit is this. It's Texas. The idea These that I can people. go, I can have an abortion and go tell my priest, I'm feeling really bad at the, about the abortion I yeah. just had. And I would like to talk about it with you, man of the cloth. And if the government finds out, they're like, oh, here, sir. That's insane. Father, whatever the fuck. That's so crazy. Father Jack. Father Jack. <laughs> Father Jack would never fucking he's a writer. He would never really? yeah. Okay. I just think that's insane. If you don't have a uterus, mind your business. But also, how the fuck are you gonna find people for shit they didn't even do? They didn't that's insane. What the fuck? I, I guess they're treating it like murder. Like you murdered a body and you told someone about it and then they're in I guess. It's in it to me it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. This at all. is why I didn't watch Handmaid's Tale because this shit's real and it gave I me watched anxiety. Four episodes of Handmaid's Tale and I was like, not today, Satan. I was talking nope. to my aunt about do you remember when all the COVID vaccine stuff first came out and everyone was saying it causes infertility? Yeah. And she was, you know, just talking about how allegedly allegedly mm -hmm. how that information like spiraled how it started as we're not testing this on pregnant women so we yeah. don't want to say that pregnant women should, all of this shit okay right, right, right. so she was talking to me about it and i was like well i figured so many people were taking it and then would end up taking it that if it really does cause issues with infertility at that point it would be such an issue that people would be figuring out things whether it be like IVF things, adoption things, yeah. whatever. So I was like, I mean, I'm just chilling because if I can't have kids and everyone else in the world or like a large portion of the mm -hmm. world also can't have kids, there will be a solution. And she was like, yeah, auctioning off people who didn't take the vaccine and having them have your children. And I was like, <laughs> oh we are in the fucking <laughs> Please do not give these people any I other clues. Like, that Please. is Nail insane. on the head. Fucking oh insane. my god, that scares me now that you just said that. Isn't that what crazy? if they did? Because there's this big conspiracy that's going on with vaccinated versus unvaccinated people, and that they're saying, "Oh, well, the unvaccinated are actually causing this Delta variant and spreading it." And then people are saying, "No, y'all are the test subjects. The people who got the vaccine are actually the ones that are spreading it." And I'm just like, "We don't really know what the fuck is going on at this point. We're no one knows." But it could it. also be like flu A, flu B. Very true. You know, or yeah. it could be like I'm vaccinated against one of the strains, just like everything else. Exactly. You can't be vaccinated. So I maybe I am carrying around 
COVID D, the Delta yeah. variant, and I don't fucking know it. And you're getting it and spreading it everywhere. There's a lot of people who had no symptoms of, of COVID and still they were positive and they were passing it on to that's, other people. That's, that's the same been thing that they said. the whole fucking issue. Yeah. And we live, it's allergy season, but we're in you Texas can't tell. with allergies. You can't tell. We've had an influx. Well, I won't say an influx, but I had a patient on my list this week who um, had the COVID vaccine back in the earlier of the year. And he is now in the hospital, has RSV, and is on like 50 liters of oxygen. And I'm just like, he did everything right, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Well, even do you remember the influx of people who got the COVID vaccine and it was spurting all this other random shit, heart shit, hypertension, like all of these strokes and all that, strokes and that. Mm -hmm. Just because they got a micro dose of COVID, yeah. which back to the original point, you getting the vaccine is just ensuring that if you actually do get COVID, yeah. your body's already been introduced to it at a right. low level. People keep thinking that the COVID vaccine is a cure and it's not. You're you're not preventing the COVID because vaccine the does not prevent you the, from getting exactly. it. It just prevents it from putting your ass in a hospital on a vent potentially. But if you still have underlying comorbidities, it can still you can still die from getting it. I even, won't even say vaccinated. the government because I don't watch the news enough to fucking say this but yeah. media has portrayed the vaccine as a cure-all it, they really have they have been like take the vaccine you don't have to wear a mask take right. the vaccine you can, you can travel. get back take to your the regular vaccine. life and that's not what it is no. so i don't blame people for thinking like well they just said i needed to get the vaccine Absolutely. and then i'd be okay well even dr fauci dr fauci and then joe biden all these other health well joe biden's not a health expert but still even them saying and, and doing uh doing all these things with government saying you know don't you want to get back to your regular life get the vaccine and you can go back to your regular life no that's not what you should be perpetuating you should be saying you need to get you we encourage you to get the vaccine because it will help you know uh help you in the long run it will help our medical system in the long run but you still need to take care of yourself and you still need to be safe that's what you need to say don't give a blanket statement of don't you want to just get back to your direct you know your regular life the end all right let's just take a quick break and we'll be right back this episode of the face off with Fleming and Fowler is sponsored by myapothecary.com. My Apothecary is the premier online destination for hemp derived CBD that will help you curate a wealthy lifestyle. CBD is one of many restorative compounds found in the cannabis plant. Its benefits include decreased pain, improved mood, decreased anxiety, and much more. Some of y'all know that I have crazy ADHD, so I'm heavily medicated at all times, and I've been taking CBD oil at night to kind of calm me down, get me ready for bed. 1010 would recommend. Worried about regulations? The passing of the 2018 Farm Bill made hemp-derived CBD legal to sell and consume. So yes, CBD is 100% legal and perfect for every person of legal age. My Apothecary's featured line, Broad Bloom, offers broad-spectrum CBD oil drops, sports cream, and soft gels. These products have no THC, so you can stay fly without the high or zen without the spin. Shop now at www.myapothecary.com and sign up for their newsletter to get exclusive offers, product releases, and CBD news. Remember to always check with your healthcare provider before consuming any supplement. You must be 21 to purchase and consume, and shipping is only available in the U.S. of A. Don't forget to shop at www.myapothecary.com. No. Or maybe stop fucking with our food and giving us actual organic, healthy substances Listen, that's a whole in other, our body, and then this wouldn't have been a problem. That's a whole nother subject when you talk about food and farming and all this stuff that's going on with them talking about we're going to have a food shortage and all this bullshit. And I'm trying to get myself attached to, you know, the concept of plant-based because I know it's coming. So um, I know. And if I can't have certain snacks, I need to get off sugar now. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about what happens when my Vyvanse runs out. What the fuck? Ooh. My pharmaceuticals. You can take over count over the counter. There's this what is it called? L thigh something, L thigh something that people are taking who have ADHD. I don't know. I'm gonna have to fucking wean myself off now. So I'm gonna like keep a golden stash of it. Stash of it. Let's just go ahead and start getting it. If y'all have any vivans, any, any of our listeners have no, any vivans, it's, it's, it's a it's a class A. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah. No way. It's a, what is, is that a narcotic? It's meth. Vivans is meth. Yes, it's meth. No way. You're a meth head. Um, what Illegal. are those called? Uh drugs i don't know Cla- what are the, the- you just said you're taking meth I, I i feel like our friendship has been a lot it is a uh, controlled it's a controlled substance it's a drug it's, it's not meth though for real is it meth really is oh. it a derivative of meth yeah but yeah. meth is a stimulant it is because remember the did i tell you the time that i used to get my vitamins prescription like three months out they would give it to me they'd say hey here's three months worth yeah. of it and then they stopped and it was because people were using it to make meth and so they had to crack down on Wow, I didn't know but that. It is um 
Because meth, I thought meth was a depressant. Is it not? Uh, I don't know. Meth heads are pretty crazy. I feel like meth heads, when they're it's coming down. scientific they... name is Lysdexamethetamine dimestylate. Next. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> um, it's an amphetamine. Really? I did not know that. There's stimulants for the central nervous system. That's I why, did not know that. That's why when I take a drug test, it's positive for amphetamines. But not it was methamphetamines, a, right. just amphetamines. amphetamines. But I thought that that was supposed to be a depressant to calm you down because of the hyperactivity. No, so ADHD is a um, it's a chemical disorder, right? So yeah. like, if you have true ADHD, like my brother who has crazy ADHD, mm -hmm. when you give him coffee, it calms him down. Really? When you give him Dimetap, he's a crackhead. Wow. It's opposite because of the chemicals in your brain. Mm. So, so, so you shouldn't be drinking coffee? No, you should be drinking coffee. I should be drinking coffee because it makes me focus yeah. and calm down. But like, so you give people with ADHD meth and it just makes yeah. them hi hyper-focused. Oh, interesting. I never knew that. Yeah. Never knew that. It has the opposite effect. So, yeah. Cool. Interesting. There's that on that, my little... Yeah. Uh, that's your Science chemistry lesson, lesson for, for today. All right. Well, and um, closing out with the athletics, Candace Parker, who is an amazing WNBA player. I'm not sure if she still plays for the LA Sparks. I don't think she does. Um, but she actually became the first female basketball player to grace the cover of NBA 2K. It is 2021. Why are we still announcing this? That's insane to me. Why Why was she the first? Why? Where was Lisa Leslie? Oh, dude. Like, huge. She was huge. That's what I'm saying. Tina Thompson. I mean. Becky Hamm. <laughs> Hamill, Hammond, Becky Hammond, yes, Hammond. soccer. I mean, Hammel. she can't be on. She Hammel. can't be on NBA 2K. But <laughs> who am I thinking of then? You're, you're thinking of Mia Hammond. No, no. What's the girl from the Who's Spurs? Who's the one from the Spurs? Yes, I know oh, you're talking about. Was that Becky Hammond? That was Becky Hammond, right? I think that was we Becky know Hammond. What the fuck we're we know about <laughs> the women's sports people. I think that is Becky Hammond. Becky Hammond, yeah. The girl, yeah. Just, yeah first what did i say soccer coach? i was thinking of me and him that's why and i was thinking of mark hamill so if we bring it all together we got it right absolutely all right so let's go on a little bit of politics unfortunately we really don't want to go here but we have to all right so um the texas republicans texas is just a very different state and they are not it's unlike a country. Florida. It's a country, but Texas is... I think the reason why Texas and Florida legislators don't get along very well is because they're the same fucking people. Oh, my God. Every Uber we were in, my fucking mother, dude. Every Uber would be like, oh, you know, we're all open. I know Texas is open, too. Da -da -da -da. Florida and Texas are the same. They are, they are hand in hand. Y'all just have like, tamales. Oh, DeSantos. Oh, Ab Ugh, yeah, that was no. my whole car ride. And I was like, yeah. I fucking get it. You're a small business. You're allowed Uber's up and running because you can fucking make no. money now. But it's, it's really the same. It's a unfortunate but it is the same so texas is getting ready to vote on this very um controversial um there's these very controversial voter suppression Jim laws, Crow laws very much so and so texas republicans are like pushing these voter suppression laws the same as georgia did with the you know the u.s department of uh, defense has basically um the, i'm sorry the u.s department the u.s department of justice is suing the state of georgia and so texas is coming out with very similar laws like georgia to, to suppress voters so what ended up happening was the democrats of t texas legislator actually walked out um and they prevented the voting on this bill and what happens is in texas is that if at least two-thirds of the people are not there to vote then they can't vote Makes so sense. all of them decided to go on vacation there's this picture i posted literally they, they're on a plane all of these democratic like congressmen and women blah 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 for texas or whatever um they literally went on vacation and so greg abbott got so pissed and he made this like you know this speech and was like you know we have to get back to these crucial laws and da 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 da, da. and they're playing games and going on vacation he was like i am calling for the arrest of all of these democrats when they touch back down so i don't know when these people are coming back but they're supposed to be arrested Never. when they come back <laughs> so yeah it's they're insane. gonna be with our friend uh jenna ryan or what i don't know that jenna ryan has she's been awfully quiet <laughs> I, you know Which is you, weird because I watch Prison Talk, so if she was away, I think I'd, I'd know about it. We should go up to Dallas and go visit our friend. Hey, Jenna. Hey, Jen. How What's you doing? Up? What's going on? How you doing? Where you at, girl? We can maybe fly her private jet. We'll see Yeah, if she lets us do it. Also, too, um, remember we talked about last week, the Haitian president who was assassinated, who unfortunately. Was absolutely, unfortunately assassinated. Oh, my God. His wife. So we did find out news. She, she, she survived. survived. She did. And she was shot. Um, she That picture was, of her in that... 
hospital bed first of all I hated why that. Yeah. second of all she looks like not to fucking day yeah but they had to i think too to probably bring order and restoration back to the country maybe mm-hmm. um and she she did arrive back in haiti i think a couple of days ago um but i just can't imagine her going back to her private residence where her and her husband were, were gunned and to down be, yes and to be and, and attacked and now you have to sleep like that like no that's horrible but did you hear that there is basically sorry have, have you, you ever seen um move like more realistic movies or documentaries or shit about after the cops is done with the, after the cops are done with a crime scene what it looks like yeah and they're like okay go back to your house right blood everywhere everything's turned mm-hmm. over they just fucking leave yeah. and you're there to you have to clean it up oh god yeah. and then so. you have to deal with the ramifications of your new yeah. reality probably and she did and still be scared shitless the first lady or former first lady yeah i don't know how that's gonna work as far as like who becomes the next president or their vice president i don't know how they're you know uh, government works but it's been insane and actually they um the people that they caught i guess it was like 28 people total that they've caught so far that's um, 28 people not, not that necessarily shot at him but that were a part of the actual um plot to kill him Ooh. and some of the people were actually former united states dea informants which is insane. So that definitely tells huh. you uh, there's an inside job. Plus there's like this conspiracy that's going on on TikTok about four different um, presidents that have actually been killed. And they're saying that he's been killed allegedly because he has refused to invite the COVID vaccine into their country. And um, other countries like uh, Tanzania and, you know, there's three other countries that actually have refused to give their citizens the vaccine or make it available. And they've had very little, you know, COVID cases and um, that this is all a bigger plot and blah, blah, blah. So who knows? But um, even speaking on vaccines, Gail King recently uh, uh, did an interview about um, the COVID vaccine. And she's saying how she's banning anybody, any of her family members who have not been vaccinated from their Thanksgiving vacation. So what are your thoughts on that? Very funny you bring up a Thanksgiving vacation because for the last two years I have told my family like, why aren't we in Mexico? Why are we here? Yeah, when we could be on a beach. Right. I feel like this is a very important four days together that we could. Be. Why do you always want to be on a beach? I fucking love the water. It's negative ions, baby. I just there's Shut no up. better me than. Do you me. see how hot it is right now outside? I just need to be on a beach, my skin burning, crisping. I can feel it like I'm under the. Why don't you just go to a tanning UV? bed? No, it's gross. the same effect. It's not the vibes, dude. Mm. Margarita mm. in my hand, sound no. of the waves. I just love. I'm a beach bitch, you know. A <laughs> beach bitch, okay. But wow. it's been my vac- my Thanksgiving vacation has been shut down every year. They're like, this is a holiday to eat and be merry and together. And See, I'm like, but well, we could do that on a beach. Thanksgiving is always like my family's biggest holiday, and so all the family gets together. We go to somebody's house. It doesn't matter if it's in Florida, here, Georgia, New York, Carolinas, wherever. We always vote on where we're gonna go for the next vacation. I mean the next thanksgiving um let me just tell you this now um if you try to ban anybody from coming to your house because they ain't got a vaccine fuck your thanksgiving <laughs> how about that and that includes my family fuck you your house and your turkey how about that because i can cook so i have thanksgiving at my why house why can't like they I come done. and wear a mask but that's but why why do we even care but aren't, who's gonna so, share that information aren't you vaccinated to protect the uh, yourself and others exactly so shouldn't you be gucci can exactly. you self-quarantine i feel like it was more we were in more danger i won't speak on this thanksgiving because knock on wood hopefully we'll be out of the woods more than we are now I doubt it. me too <laughs> um but i feel like last thanksgiving we were really up a fucking creek and people were still wilding out remember when the government was like okay you can gather in groups of three yeah we were like whose fucking family is that small <laughs> <laughs> whose family is so, that small i think she's trying to make a point i don't know what the point is but first of all gail king shut the fuck up we already told you a couple episodes ago shut up also gail king will probably have like a, a vaccinated house and an unvaccinated house and yeah. she's the only one who can go between because she you got a lot of shit to say now but oprah put your ass in quarantine uh True. <laughs> last year you True. and statman were stuck in quarantine oprah was like oh, not she me, got bitch. the idea yeah she really did she did everything she does is from oprah well, they've been friends for seventeen thousand yeah, years. Anyway, well, anyway, too. Um, so legalizing marijuana um, in the news lately, uh, the legalization of marijuana in several states have actually led to this like eight percent. They said like an eight percent drop in opioid related ER visits. Um, really? See what I'm saying? To fix the opioid crisis, legalize marijuana. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. That is wild. I'm not saying that I smoke marijuana because I can't because I have allergies, but I eat a brownie. I will neither confirm nor deny my use of recreational drugs on this podcast. Well, definitely don't do that. Thank you. No, I won't confirm either. But I'm just saying I wouldn't. Ha- I wouldn't be opposed. I'm just to taking saying, in, in the grand scheme of things, if I would rather you be addicted to opioids or smoke weed every day, hey, 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 I'm gonna go with the latter. <laughs> what the hell? Opioids are horrible. Yeah, definitely. All right. So, in some other news, um, this is final thing before we jump into uh, social media. 
So, um, Popeyes. They're actually building one up the street. Are they really? They are. Dude, um, I fuck with chicken. Are you a chicken nugget or a chicken strip person? Um, if I were still eating meat, oh, I would right. definitely <laughs> say... <laughs> I would probably go for the nuggets. The nugs. I love a nug. Yeah. Also, and it, it depends on where it's from. Like, my favorite nuggets were Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A nuggets are superior, but Chick-fil-A chicken strips are trash. I've never had their I chicken strips I stand by ever. that opinion. They don't taste the same. It's not right. But. You know their chicken nuggets are just the chicken minis for the breakfast? Yes. With a, with a bun? I do know that. So good. <laughs> Fucking so bitches. Good. It took me a while to get that. I was like. <laughs> These, These are, are the different the same. <laughs> But, like, Dairy Queen chicken strip like everywhere Ooh. else has better chicken strips Who mcdonald's the fuck would eat chicken strips at dairy queen oh my god dairy queen has awesome Ugh, chicken strips. barf no okay Bruh. You're no. Disc- no i'm not playing this game with you today no 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 and well, they have good fries they do have good fries i'll give them that and obviously good ice cream and stuff but popeyes has actually announced uh their new chicken nuggets that will apparently drop uh july 27th uh are they spicy or regular i don't know because i i wish chick-fil-a had spicy nuggets they don't does Wendy still have the spicy nuggets? I think they those do. Were bomb. I think they do. Chick- Wendy's chicken nuggets were okay, but Chick Fil A was still Chick Fil A is always the best nugget. Yeah, that's tell- all I got to say about that. We're gonna put this on Instagram. Tell us your favorite chicken nuggets and um, why it's Chick Fil A. Yeah, but my thing is Popeyes. Have, haven't y'all had enough chicken crisis? They are chi- they are keeping up with the Joneses. But over my thing there. is, didn't y'all run out of chicken at one point for the chicken sandwiches? So how do y'all get chicken? Maybe they just cut them up because the craze went down Probably. and they're like, you know, what we need to do with all this fucking <laughs> chicken some- nuggets, bitch. I think they just like <laughs> stay trying to fuck over Chick Fil A. But they're never going to because Chick-fil-A is superior. They just are. It's just like um, the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket, you know? Yeah, I don't care how, I don't care if you were offering free nudes and all kind of dollar <laughs> bills, people would still line up to go to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. It doesn't it's matter. It's just impeccable service when they don't forget my fucking salad dressing. And the food is always good. It's always their fun. Their customer service alone, you can't, it's just like, I always tell people with Publix, even though Publix is not here in Texas. When you shop at Publix, you get an experience. Every the people know where everything is in the That's store. Like Trader Joe's. I don't, yeah, it's just like Trader Joe's. Like they have great cus- great customer service will make you overlook the prices. This is uh-huh. why I shop at Target. That's why I wish they would pay us more. I'd be a much better phys- physician. <laughs> You're a physician now? <laughs> I declare. I'm a physician. <laughs> I like you. I'm a doctor. I'm like I would just be happier and better at my job, and then people would think the service is so great that they wouldn't even care that we weren't doing. Yeah, that. I mean, even if they pay me well, I still be half assing it because I'm sick of this career. So anyway, well, what are you gonna do? Yeah, we quit. <laughs> Not now, but uh, yeah, allegedly, allegedly. All right. Uh, anything else? Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump on into uh, some social media stuff. What's going on, on social media? Okay, I don't know how this skipped my mind last week. Did you see Tristan Thompson comment on Chloe's picture? I did out of pocket out of pocket first of all that man he's hor- he's a horrible he's a whore he's a hor- whore yeah a bull spout like partner spouse whatever the fuck he is yeah the fact so for those of you who don't know chloe kardashian maybe you've heard of her posted a picture of herself duh that's all she does that's all they all do <laughs> was it photoshopped or not did the grandma leak it 100 <laughs> percent photoshopped it had to be but um Tr- lamar odom her ex-husband posted emojis and said hottie or something on it right like so lame it, a it was a thirst trap so she knew what she was doing yeah b that man has never been he's not in his right mind i don't know what's going on with him lamar? yes that no. was one of those things that you just like see and you keep on fucking scrolling because you're like sorry to this man lamar odom has his whole reputation he's oh my god he's got we can ever all say, since he got with her his reputation has gone down and he's got issues and yeah. honestly i don't know what the fuck this was it could have been just for publicity who knows but fucking tristan jamaican ass hook em horns thompson cheating on all his wow. baby mamas yeah thompson said uh, uh, and i quote hold on let me pull it up because i don't want to be um i don't want to misquote yeah don't get a suit yeah don't put that on we don't have any money in our patreon i'm kidding we don't even have a patreon oh my god (laughs) we need to get one but open to it yeah he said all right he responded to his comment and said god brought you back the first time play if you want different results oh wait he's whoa whoa isn't that some fucked up shit that was too far uh from has Lamar Odom overdosed multiple times? Or I what? think he only. Oh, well, I think we we as the country only know that he overdosed one time because once, of that. and it was very bad. It was very and he bad. was in a coma yes. for a while. It was some fucked up situation. Yes. So this man said basically, "Hey, damn, you're on your last life, bud." First of all, well, sir, you clearly don't want her because you keep going after other vagina. That's what I'm fucking saying. But you're gonna get. Girl, I, I hate men. Here's Yo, what I, how are you gonna get all up in arms when her ex husband 
Here's my problem Who with men. Who had more claim to her than you did. Here's my problem with men like that, because all men are not the same. Here's my problem with men like that. You have a woman in your face, and this goes both ways. This goes for women as well, too. You have a partner in your face that is that is giving you 100% of themselves, that is giving you everything you want, everything that you need in a partner. You don't appreciate it, and then you lose the person, but then you want to control who comes in their life. You are a fucking psychopath. Your Go book, sit your, your stupid book ass cheated down. on this woman. That's what I'm saying. All she wanted was multiple a, times. All she wanted was a baby and a ring. And you keep embarrassing. Here's the thing. Not only do you keep embarrassing her, but she keeps letting you embarrass her. Yeah. <laughs> like my thing is, dude, relax. Y'all look dumb. Both of y'all look equally stupid. I'm just saying, y'all both are stupid, and this whole thing was stupid. But that was fucking. That was foul. Don't say that. Sideways. Well, uh, here's the thing. I, I, as a person who is a habitual jugular cutter when you say <laughs> shit to me i'm not gonna be You're i'm not gonna tristan thompson i'm worse than him i'm petty labelle okay mm. i will come for your feelings and i will i will talk about your mama your dog your cat and your ugly ass baby i do not care when you piss me off i'm going for your juggler just saying so maybe that's where they're at that ooh. maybe he keeps texting her and shit and calling her and this was tristan being like i'm fucking done but i'm not gonna do it on social media though when you're a celebrity you can't do that shit that's petty that's petty no Cause you got issues too in your closet. We just don't know about them just yet. Over there kissing Jordan Woods. How dare you? Yo, insane. Bop, bop. What else has been going on in social media news? All right, I don't know if you remember the last episode when I said, "Hey, Bill Cosby, sit your ass at home. Get the fuck off of social media. Don't do anything crazy because Please, everyone's tell me he's gonna on be looking media. at you." This man, dude. Oh my god. As soon as we left the studio, probably like maybe the day after or something, I saw yeah. this pop up on fucking Shade Room or some shit. Yeah. Because he posted on social media, and I was like, "I told you, Bill. I don't know if you're not listening. I told you to sit your ass home and not say shit." Oh my god, what has he done? So he posts this picture, and I'll post it. But it's him in a Hello Friends. T- <laughs> sweatshirt is this is like huge. his nose is huge you know Good how your nose God. keeps growing when you're old ah me damn and uh <laughs> it's just him smile like no teeth smile creepy he don't have teeth no he's oh. it's a no tooth smile like it's a oh. closed lip smile i was like what happened to his teeth <laughs> and he looks like he's in a hotel room which probably is just his home that's very nice and yeah. curated but it's his also his tag is at bill cosby of course it is like wow nobody stole that name yet exactly interesting um so and i'm sure someone uh, fucking instagrammed this for him but oh this was the other one probably his lawyer Ooh, he looks bad he looks just he looks so scary old. he looks like creepy man on the street he looks like like your grandpa getting old he looks like, like he's been in prison Jesus. for two years yeah <laughs> yes. so the caption is oh, um <laughs> i just got a fresh cut for my birthday dinner tonight in the words of james brown it's a man's world but it wouldn't be nothing without a woman girl and mrs camille cosby Bill. hashtag bill cosby hashtag thank you hashtag hello friend so i get it and it's nice but everything you say now that has to do with women is fucking creepy and i told you that i kn- that's why you should not get back into stand-up because everything you say people are it's gonna have that little taint on it that's like Ugh. bill cosby you need pr please allow me the opportunity please pay me to be <laughs> this your could PR have been person. so many things it could have been like can't wait to spend a night with my wonderful wife happy anniversary that's all you had to say that's all you had to say or how, how, here's a better idea bill shut the fuck up but also i need you to read i need you to understand the grammar okay it's a man's world but it wouldn't be nothing without a woman comma girl and mrs camille cosby well the original song is without a woman or a girl yeah so this says without a woman comma girl and Mrs. Cosby. so you mean yeah i get it do you see what i'm saying a woman a woman girl and yeah and so it's the and it's the and sign so it's I know the it's confession it. for me <laughs> god <laughs> damn it bill i was rooting for you shit <laughs> i told you i told you to stay here as an and off of social oh media oh my god and everything he says is gonna be sec- like no you just, that's why you who's can't be on this? social media who's approving this shit? him him he's like yeah that sounds good post <laughs> oh my god it'll make you relatable to gen z no gen z's calling out people like you relax just be quiet it's don't be of, like this had uh, had no caption be better just don't don't get on social media about bill listen let me be your pr please hire me six figure salary only to be your pr i will get you right i will get you back right into the homes of america it's the hello friend for me that's also creepy like oh god and it's like in like lgbtq like rainbow yeah, colors rainbow he's priding out here god yeah no bill go to sleep <laughs> just take your ass to sleep we fucking knew that was gonna happen um yeah what else is going on in social media um lovecraft country got 18 emmy nominations i did see that which is funny because yeah. they just got fucking canceled they did i but hbo's you, doing some petty shit yeah 
HBO is like, okay, we're going to submit for these nominations and we're going to win all these fucking awards, Misha Green. How dare you take your bitch ass over to a- Apple? But April? here's the thing, April. <laughs> Apple. God damn it, April. My thing is, even if they did submit these Emmy nominations because she took the show, right? Mm-hmm. She took it because they didn't fucking renew it. But that's what I'm saying. But all you had to do was... My thing is, HBO, you make a lot of Y'all money. Y'all got hella money. It could have been very easy of for them to pick that shit back it up. It really could have. But And you could you can't hate on her for having a multi-million dollar deal with another company like I, to create more shows. Because Especially you, if you didn't, didn't do it. pick up the show. Exactly. What is she supposed to do? Just wait for you to say, yes, come on in the door? No. Fuck y'all. Let me go find something else. And I else. hope it wins every fucking one. And this show is fucking good. Well, if it does win every one, it's, it's going to be a pat on the back for HBO. Oh, no. It's not, I mean, even though it's still her name and she she's still going to get the accolades because nobody going to give a shit about HBO, HBO but at the same time they're doing it for a reason like haha top this Apple but then the, this, the thing still is if they knew that they if they knew that they could submit and that there was a chance that they would get this Emmy nomination yeah. why wouldn't you pick up the show again exactly if it, you knew it was doing well enough to receive these nominations it's a power show I just don't fucking like that they're just trying to prove a point they're really trying to prove a point but it's okay did you watch the fucking uh, Victoria's Secret Karen thing I did see that. I I couldn't. um, It literally took me. I'd watched in parts. It was too much. I saw the whole thing. And so for those that don't know, this woman, this black woman was in Victoria's Secret because, you know, they give the free panty or whatever. I think it's what every quarter or some shit. They're always having a fucking semi-annual. Oh, you know what? I haven't gotten one of those. You know, they used to mail you the things and you would get the little cutout. Yeah. You would take it in. Your Mm -hmm. little Willy Wonka token. Exactly. Get get your free free panty. panty. Yeah. Some chones. Yeah. So um, this young lady was in a was in a Victoria's Secret store. And this white woman who we're call, calling her Karen because she's called the Victoria's Secret Karen. Anyway, they were in the store together. And I guess the lady, did she bump her or something or cut in yeah. line or did something? There was some kind of interaction that happened. Well, the black lady, of course, took out her phone and started recording the Karen. And the white lady just went insane. I mean, she started crying and rolling all over the floor. Stop recording me. Stop recording oh me. Gosh. And then literally the black lady was like, ma'am, why are you acting like this? Like, I'm, I'm fearful for my life now. I'm going to call the police. And then the white lady starts running after the black lady saying, get away from me, get away from me. And she's like, bitch, you're chasing me. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? It was insane. The white power tears. of video recording. Accessible, easy video recording. But did you see how like the police officers, when they did show up, they literally told the black lady, well, I mean, we can't throw her out of the store. And I'm like, how many black people have you seen dragged out of mm-hmm. fucking stores in malls and in everything else as if, oh, the mall cop su- supersedes us. We can't do anything. We're mm-hmm. law enforcement. Like, I swear to y'all, white tears. It's a pandemic. It literally is a fucking pandemic. It like, it's I also a, think it's cops ridiculous. are afraid. And I, this, yes. I think cops are afraid to fucking do anything now. I don't even think it's that. I think it's still racism embedded in the hearts and minds of Americans. It is racism, but I think they're just like, we're not going to do anything that can be fucking video co- recorded because we're not going to end up on the news, which sucks yeah. because now no, it had to happen. This, we only had to record things because it was so bad, right? And now all of these recordings are so easily sent to media and fucking sent everywhere. And now- Well, they're not doing anything about it. I mean- Think about it. Rodney King had his ass beat on a VH fucking S. Oh, he had to rewind that shit. In the 90s. You literally could see this man on the ground being pummeled with billy sticks by four police officers. Fuck the fact that they were police officers. The fact that this assault on this man was filmed and they still got acquitted. And it's 2021 now. Rodney King, I think, died a couple years ago. I think. I don't want to kill him. Allegedly. I think he died. I think he did die. <laughs> Let's look that up before we move on. Hold hey on. Hey Siri. Is Rodney King alive? I think he died. Rodney King was born April 2nd, 1965, and died June 17th, 2012. Yep. The man died already. And we still have shit like this going on in 2021 that black people in this country cannot get the same justice that these white that lady should have been taken to jail for a hate crime. White tears are a hate crime weaponized it, it's you're weaponizing your t- this you're literally i don't understand how you can run after somebody and say get away from me stop recording me but all but that you're running towards this to person me is that it's worked before people don't act that way if they know it doesn't work uh, exactly 
And that and the police. A normal person, when you pull out your phone, yeah, and starts recording the the aggressor of sound, mind, and body, who maybe didn't realize they were being as aggressive as they were, calms the fuck they down. They calm says, down. Like, you know they what? Really Fine, I'm fucking out. Yeah, I'm gonna calm down because I know you're recording now. Yeah. I know you have evidence, and I'm a smart person of sound, of exactly. sound, mind, and body. So I'm gonna chill the fuck out. Exactly. And she did the opposite. And this is why that whole trend that was going on on TikTok where these white girls were literally crying. Oh, yes, And then the dude. songs came to a certain area and then they literally, and it says, in the song it says, turn it off. And they all stopped crying. And I'm just like, Did you see all those Emmett black Till, men man. who would stitch it? And they were like, yep. y'all don't understand what this means. Oh, God, I hate it. It's horrible. I think every Karen should be charged with a hate crime. If you do shit like this, your ass needs to go to, even too, there was this one lady I saw this past week um, that there was this black man, of course, and I think it was a Walmart, and she followed this man out to his car claiming that this man stole her son's cell phone. Why is it always stealing cell phones? It's phone? so fucking stupid. She, he was like, ma'am, I didn't even pass by. I don't even know what the fuck your son looks like. So, of course, he starts videotaping. She's like, I'm not leaving. I'm calling the police. You cannot leave until you give me back my son's cell phone, blah, blah, blah. She was like, I did the find my iPhone, and it says it's right here in your pocket. First of all, find your iPhone doesn't do all that shit, okay? It just tells you the general location of the phone. However, so then he was like, you know what? Let's go back in the store because I don't want to be out here by myself with you. He was like, I'm a married woman. I don't got time to be stealing. I got a fucking phone myself. They go back into the Walmart. The lady's son comes up with the fucking phone in his hand because he left it in the goddamn car. You should go to jail for that lady. And then the man was like, you gonna give me an apology? Are you gonna apologize? She was like, fuck off. You just accused this man and could have literally had him killed over your son's bitch ass phone. First of all, the fact that you accused him already. Why do you accuse a random stranger? Go find your fucking son. Hey bitch, did you leave this fucking shit in, in the car? Like, it's insane to me. You this That is an act of terrorism. And I don't care what anybody else thinks about it. White tears are fucking terrorism. And y'all need to be put in fucking jail for that shit. It's just it's also horrible. not hard to be a normal person. It, it's really not. My brother had his phone stolen at church by this fucking... This, That's fucked up. This, I know, it was <laughs> fucked up. up. <laughs> this, this kid that was there, this black kid that was there, for all of you who don't know, my brother's half Hispanic, but he's very white. Yeah. This black kid your mom has very strong jeans she is str <laughs> the, my mother's the strongest jeans, whitest jeans the ever strongest <laughs> whitest jeans i've ever seen freaking bleached denim those jeans. um he let this boy borrow his phone mm -hmm. the boy was black the boy took off with my brother's phone he's yeah. crying 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 he tells my mom this boy's only one my mm -hmm. mom was just like who was it he was like i don't know it was this boy he had brown skin he took my phone my mom was like listen just go tell the people at the front desk. You let someone borrow your phone. You don't know what happened. You weren't able to find him. Y'all church got a front desk? Wow. Yeah. If they know where he was, let you know. It's fine. It's just yeah. a phone. Which, yeah. It's just a phone. And, like, they're very expensive. But, like, what the fuck are you going to do? Yeah. And this climate right now where... You, you, what, it's just, like, the worst thing you can do is accuse someone right now mm -hmm. with everything going on. And call the police. And in the grand scheme of things, it's just a fucking phone. Right. Even Soho Karen did the same thing where she accused that one jazz musician. Um, I said jazz. Jazz, I love jazz musician. Music. Um, a Grammy award winning uh, jazz musician. He, she accused her son, his son, of stealing her phone. And she left it in a fucking Uber. But you made a scene, attacked this man's son. And now your ass is fucking in jail and facing criminal charges because you blame someone as opposed to taking accountability for your own fuck ups. Children are going to lose shit. Yeah. We know that. But for you to sit here and you set a horrible ass example for your fucking child that this is how you treat people of color. And she was Hispanic or she looked Hispanic rather. But I'm just like, <laughs> God damn lady, like Jesus. And that has to be like a how you were raised thing, right? Uh, of course, that's taught race. You're not born a racist. You're taught that shit. You had to be taught. But uh, yeah, with I don't know. My mom's always been like, it's just stuff. Oh, not that we have stuff. We don't have money. Yeah. Like money, money. But she's always like, you'll be fine. You lost it. What are we going to do? We'll, you'll either yeah. not have it for a while or we're going to another one. It was stolen. That fucking sucks. You won't make that mistake again. We'll yeah. figure it out. You're without whatever now. Not unless I personally see you go into something oh, then and still, on. then it's on. No, I'm not yeah. going to let that shit go. But if I can't, I cannot accuse you of, this is like uh, one day when we were at work and somebody stole um, our coworker's walker. Um, <laughs> and she was like, she literally came up to me. She was like, did you take my walker? Like, because you know the, the reality is that a lot of times in, in um, not healthcare, but just on our floor, we don't really use walkers all the time. No. So if one person brings their walker, we'll be like, "Hey, can we borrow your walker?" Everyone real quick? uses that one. Listen, we just, yeah. Out on my case, sort of nine people, one can maybe walk with a walker. Maybe, maybe like the whole week, one person <laughs> uses a walker. And so she came to me and was like, 
Hey, did you take my walker? But she didn't do it in an accusatory way. She was like, hey, did you use my There's walker? There's a maybe? way to ad- address people exactly. and, and inquire about something. The fuck? Sorry. And what the fuck? I don't know. We got fruit flies. Sorry. Oops. I'm, I'm re-recording. Shit. I can't hit the <laughs> table. I'm sorry, y'all. It was like a fly or something. Anyway. Um, it's a tone of voice thing. It's yeah. a cadence thing. So I, every listen, you are very capable of approaching someone and saying, hey, I've lost my phone. Have you happened to see? It? Like you yeah. can approach someone, and when they, if you saw them do it and they lie to your face, okay, I fucking get it. Right. But you have to know that all bets are off. They may come at you crazy. Yeah. And beat your ass. How many people steal your gate belt every day at work? God. Or you can't find your walker. You're like, hey, has somebody seen my walker? Yeah. It's not you're you're coming in in a very inquisitive manner mm-hmm. and not being accusatory, and that's the difference. Because people shut down. I will yeah. shut down immediately if you accuse me of something. Exactly. In- inquire. Hey, sir. My son lost his phone. Have you seen an iPhone? It's this color. It's this blah, 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 blah. It pinned it right here. At least act like you want help versus just, hey, motherfucker, you stole my son's phone. Like, don't do shit like that. Mm -hmm. Because you know what that says to me? People react to you how they themselves would react, if that makes sense. Like, if I come up to you in just a very inquisitive way asking, it's because I wouldn't steal your shit. So I'm thinking you also wouldn't steal my shit, but maybe you saw it. Maybe you saw it. We're in a store. If you come at me crazy, that means to me that you probably stole my shit. You would steal some shit. You would do some crazy shit because you're thinking I would do that same thing. And you'd only think that if you do it yourself. You sketchy motherfucker. Yeah, it's horrible. Uh, Absolutely horrible. So the story is... Stop being a bitch. <laughs> Just can people stop freaking out about shit? Like it's okay. Unless it's your child that's been like you're missing your kid. Yeah. I don't want to hear Is my about kid it. in the trunk of your car? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like a, an animal. Right. Like, I don't... The tracker says fine. they're here. Damn like, it. <laughs> I would just like to believe... I don't know. We also live in Texas, so I think the vibe's different. And maybe in Florida, too. Well, see, the problem is you live in a bubble of San Antonio. That's true. It's very different from We're real chatty, Texas. We're calm, fucking people. And it's Hispanic. It's like mostly Hispanic here. Like, Hispanics yeah. just want to have fun. That's it. It's very... Laid back. The other races of people it's very fun, but... laid back familial vibe here yeah like i know but you also yeah. are white i am also white but thought yeah. i was mexican so i got a lot of layers of me just being yeah. ignorant and see i'm from born and raised in florida That's true. so i know how fucked up people are so That's i'm like no nah, i don't trust nobody anytime Alyssa comes to my house and she's like oh just thought about it bitch hurry up and get in the house let's go let, let me lock the door real quick i don't yeah, live in a bad have... neighborhood i live in a very nice yeah. neighborhood with a bunch of military people however i still don't trust the military people they're yeah. crazy growing up but yeah. everybody's crazy growing up white which is what i did I have a, I'm just trusting of people. Yeah, and you their leave your purse on the back seat of your car. Yeah, I'll leave your like, car doors open. Well, surely someone nice will bring it back because I would do that for someone. And if yeah. they don't, it just wasn't meant to be. Right, exactly. You're in that bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Go to South Florida. They're going to fuck your no, ass. Thank up. you. <laughs> <laughs> I like it here in San Antonio. Everyone's yeah. so nice. <laughs> Stay in your bubble. All right. Uh, anything else in social media that we need to talk about? Um, no. All right. Let's head on over to the rehab corner. Boop, boop. Are you watching anything? Ooh, so I did finally see, um, what you call it yesterday? Uh, the Quiet Place 2. Oh, how was it? It was actually really good, but the ending pissed me off again. Like, it's going to be a third part. Were there any scenes that gave you the same feeling of when she steps on the nail in the first Oh, one? yes. I'm not watching it. But no, it was, it, yes, it was. Yeah, Mm-mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, she played a really good role, though. I think that the daughter really was the standout actress in the movie this really? time around. Yeah. Is the daughter the deaf one? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm she's sorry, deaf. the one that is hearing impaired. Yes, yeah, she's hearing impaired. And um, she really, she really um, comes out of her shell a lot more. And um, her dynamic on the in, in the movie is much more mature. Um, huh. And she's not so just behind the scenes. Um, so she's de- definitely taking control. So I like that aspect of it. Cool. Yeah. And I also saw, um, I'm actually watching this one movie called The Cosmic Sin. It has like uh, Bruce Willis in it. And uh, that's the only other star Are you a Bruce Willis fan? I am. I love him. Okay. He's a great actor. Absolutely. I can't decide or not. I love Armageddon. Armageddon was good, but even the, um, what was the series he was in? Hard to Kill? I think it was like What's one, that? two, three, and four. It was a movie. Uh, Die Hard? Uh, Die Hard. What did I say? Did you just <laughs> fucking go Hard to Kill? What the hell? What is wrong with you? America's favorite Christmas movie? You called it Hard to Kill. What's what wrong with fuck? you? Wait, what is it again? Die, Die Hard. Hard. <laughs> My God. What the fuck is Hard Everyone- to Kill? No one knows. No one knows what the hell that is because it doesn't exist. Oh my god! Have you guys seen Hard to Kill? Never go to a party. Hard to Kill. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? He is there, hard. To, he there, is hard to kill. There in those is movies. a movie called A Time to Kill, but that's a totally different movie. Oh that's about. God. I'm only gonna call it Hard to sexually Kill. Sexually assaulted. Oh my god! Yes, Die Hard. He was an amazing. He's an amazing actor. Do you feel like Die Hard is a Christmas movie? No. Okay. 
A lot of people think it's a Christmas movie because it happens during Christmas time. He's killing everybody. What the fuck? They always look. Okay. Well, you don't have cable, so it doesn't matter. Oh, damn. You just put my business out on the podcast like that? <laughs> Sorry. No, I don't have cable because I will not be a slave to the man. I got my friend's Netflix <laughs> and follow. Thank you, but I still watch everything. So Christmas time on cable. Uh, did I not have the microphone up to my mouth this whole time? It's so loud now. What the fuck? Sorry. Did you have it turned wrong? I don't, I don't know. You can cut this out. God okay. damn it. Um, Christmas time on cable channels, they'll always start playing Die Hard. Really? Yeah. It's like a Christmas movie. I don't think that's a Christmas movie. Even at Alamo no. Draft House. Have you ever been to like the Alamo Draft House where we play old movies? You can go see in theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they'll mm-hmm. play Die Hard. Really? I mean, it's a great series. Even like um, Lethal Christmas Weapon. Time. Lethal mm-hmm. Weapon 1, 2, 3, and 4 with Danny Glover and... Um, back to back. What, Mel Gibson. Those were amazing movies. But yeah, I love Bruce Willis. I but yeah, it's called The called Cosmic it Sin. I really don't understand where I got that from. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, don't judge me. Anywho. All right, let's go on over to the rehab corner and get away from a time to kill. I mean, a hard to kill. Okay. What the fuck ever? <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right. So uh, in the rehab corner, we're talking about three particular topics. Um, the first one is really controversial, especially in 2021. So there's a Cleveland hospital that basically came under fire after they accidentally gave a kidney transplant that was intended for one patient. They gave it to another. Um, and I don't know how much you guys listening understand about transplants and especially kidney transplants in particular. Um, transplants have a very high rejection rate, right? Um, and especially with kidneys, you have to be like 99.999% of match, match, right? And so the fact that in the year of our Lord, 2021, a hospital who has an active contract with UNOS, which is like the national governing body for organs. transplants for organs, um, that they made this kind of mistake. And so p- apparently two people have been placed on administrative leave. And I'm like, who the fucking surgeon and the coordinator? Like, I don't get it. Like, and it has to be a nurse. But my thing is like a transport. You think something would transport? I'm no. just, my thing is there's so many like checks and balances, balances. that yes. happen for these kinds of surgeries. Like even the OR staff, you have to do a golden moment. That's a universal thing where you take a golden moment to number one, make sure that this is the right patient, that it's the right organ, that it's the right surgery, the right side. That's why they put an X. Most times if you have surgery, you come out with an X or some kind of Sharpie on your I body. Patients they, are like, what is that? What is this X, X on my leg? That? It's like, we wanted to make sure we were on the right side and not chopping <laughs> off the, the wrong body part. But yeah, I just, and as, as somebody who works with our transplant patients and also works behind the scenes as far as like the transplant uh, selection committee as well, I just feel like that's a very hard thing to do like you know calls you and says hey bitch you got a heart you got whatever no and i feel like a couple of things had to have gone wrong like how does yeah. that happen mm-hmm. and it's I, not just like oh we were wheeling two people out of right their rooms and whoa we got mixed up exactly because i feel like even too when you transplant a patient i know at our hospital we are very uh, not attached but these people you grow to know them you go to know their there families for a and their bit. stories exactly mm-hmm. so even when you call them in the middle of the night that says hey come and get your heart we're ready for your heart transplant like i think that that's very difficult to mix up a patient and then for the surgeon to be like yeah this is the right patient like what if it, there was you know bartholomew johnson who's black and then jose per- perez uh who's hispanic like what the fuck like you knew that that's not the right person yeah there mm-mm, something something smells fishy to me yeah you just you probably lost your you know but uh, also certification for that well i feel like that's a waste of a fucking organ i mean i get it that the patient was supposed to get it but how do you give that to the wrong person there's like you said there's way too many checks and balances that come into play that you can't give that to the wrong person yeah like who's it's, your coordinator it's hard to get organs right so once you have them there's i don't know not unless it was a situation where there was a trauma that came in oh I was, yeah and then they immediately need it because then that person trumps whoever but that's not what happened because if you had to put somebody on leave that's not what happened say no grace <laughs> in that situation like you literally gave the wrong I person no that's the very kidney. interesting i don't fucking know what happened I'm yeah glad that's not my job listen for real i'm just yeah so also to um for our rehab corner johnson and johnson ever heard of them j and j they gave us the vaccine that was killing everybody well now they're about to kill people too allegedly uh <laughs> because they're re- recalling um two products from their from the shelves right now um first of all the one is the neutrogena and the aveno sunscreen products because they have allegedly um high levels of cancer causing chemicals okay here's my thing about that i think everything we put on our bodies and ingest has cancer causing chemicals in absolutely it. And I think it's just a threshold of what we're allowing. Yeah. So it's like how many hair, like how many rat pubes yeah. can you have on a soda can? Exactly. Yeah. So they just probably had more than the allotted amount. So like, am I going to stop using baby shampoo? No. 
Well, it wasn't shampoo. It was a sunscreen. I know, but like Johnson & Johnson is a company. Am I going to be like, scrap it? Yeah. I mean, I love their baby lotion. The That's apple, what I'm saying. The apple, uh, honey apple. That's my favorite. I just, I don't know. And I sunscreen is problematic for me. I feel like a lot of sunscreen brands are doing shady shit. Like, I don't think sunscreen is one of the most healthy like you need sunscreen and putting it on is very healthy for yeah. you and your skin but Absolutely. i don't know if the sunscreen itself the way it's made I, formulated I yeah. the way it's formulated yeah. is technically very because it has fragrance and all that stuff in it and yeah i mean i think even too sunscreen is very much so marketed to our caucasian or our less melanated brothers and sisters there you go. because a lot of black people first of all if we do go on the sun people what people without color that's very true um yeah because a lot of people i don't even own any sunscreen i don't think i've ever owned sunscreen even though i've gone to the to the beach um i probably just put like coconut oil on or some shit oh my god i'm a whore for sunscreen i love sunscreen but doesn't coconut oil work the same way y'all baking in the chicken like a chicken and damn you know, coconut rotisserie? oil no you no coconut oil doesn't block the sun's rays from probably for a little bit no it's a low board burning oil I'm so <laughs> fucking done. No, I think you're right. Did you say right. you want to bake to a crisp or something? <laughs> I do, but I like... Okay, even when you wear sunscreen, you can still tan. Like, I still tan and feel burn. I just have to put sunscreen on because I'm white, and I will burn. But it's like a little pink tinge, but it hurts yeah. like a fucking fourth degree sunburn. And That's I'm like, going oh, to sun. poke, 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 and it fucking hurts. Anyway, and it keeps you looking younger forever. Sunscreen's so good for you. You should wear sunscreen every day on your face. Well, I mean, like moisturizers that you have, a lot of moisturizers nowadays have sunscreen in them, like yeah. SPF 15, at least SPF 15. 80% of visible aging on the face is due to sun damage. Well, this is why you need to stay your ass out of the sun. Well, I just need to just cover my face. I mean, if you were a full black, it'd be different. I'm not a full black. Right. Yeah. So you're going to have like partial cracks and stuff versus black people. We could stay in the sun all day and it don't burn us. I mean, we still need to wear sunscreen, obviously, but we attract the sun. Yeah. Like, well, you have we more it. melanin. So you. We absorb it. We, you, we absorb yeah, the sun. Your, your body can take the rays from the sun yeah. and process it. Because black people are children of the sun. They are. They're the Lord's people, the chosen people. Yeah. They're meant to be in nature. You're, in you're 50 percent chosen. I think I'm. <laughs> yeah. Did we ever figure out if Africa would take me? I think they will. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hey, my um, genealogy is going to be back August first. It's supposed. It's in. Uh, Why does it take so Geno long, dude? It's taken forever. Did they send that off in May or something or June? June. They're June. genotyping Damn. it right now. I look every day and see how we've come along. Wow. But, yeah. So we shall see. Well, we know your mom's your mom. Yeah, my mom is my mom. We yeah. look exactly literally. You're the black version of your mom. I keep telling you that your mom has the strongest, whitest genes, and yeah. white genes are really supposed to be recessive. But no, every if not you, your mom's. If you took my family picture, like a, a picture of us all, mm -hmm. each like so, my mom has two sisters and two brothers. Yeah, they all when they're young look like their nieces and nephews mm -hmm. like they everyone looks like you can see the similarities in their kids but yeah. there's like my mom looks exactly like one of my cousins when they're the same age mm, and like wow. my uncle looks like one of my yeah. you know whatever so we have some strong genes yeah my family has very strong well i don't know i mean I don't all, that picture you showed me of all of y'all when you were young you all look the same yeah, a lot of people say that i think too it's the hairdo and the dresses my mom used to dress us <laughs> like i hated that but even like my 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 aunts on my mom's side they all look alike like really like even when i was growing up and even like in high school my aunt was a business teacher at my high school and when every anytime i would go to the to the grocery store with my mom or whatever people like students would stop my mom and be like oh hey miss my mom's like that's my sister that's not me and i'm like they don't look alike but as time gets older you're like oh shit y'all actually yeah. kind of do look alike i mean i still don't i don't see it a whole whole lot it just depends on if they're wearing the same outfit have their hair the same then yes they look alike but yeah. in their older pictures they definitely do look alike that's crazy yeah but jeans are strong um also two last thing that we want to talk about in, this, in the rehab corner so basically, you know how everything's been going on with people who are diabetic and with in the cost of insulin being so extremely Insanely, high. Insanely, astronomically like, high. Yes, like one of the vials can cost like up to $300 and people are like trying to ration out their insulin because they cannot afford it and insurance is not paying a whole bunch for it. Mm -hmm. So these uh, this company or these biohackers is what they're calling them. Um, they're basically trying to, they're in the process of trying to make insulin themselves and basically be like an open, uh, open source for insulin to drive back down the price of insulin. And they're basically committing to to um, having their insulin vials be no no less than five dollars, but no more than fifteen. So between because five to fifteen. Because why should you be punished? Because your body needs 
Insulin. Because it, when you say insulin, people automatically assume fat people oh, with diabetes. And we as hate opposed fat to people in this country. Exactly. As opposed to people who insulin have resistant. who have uh, type type one diabetes, who are kids, and you know what I mean, mm -hmm. like have gone through this situation. You know what's crazy to me is people who are like well on in life like 25 years old yeah. who get who develop type 1 diabetes yeah that shit's insane to me yeah i had a co-worker actually um when i worked at this other hospital here in town um i think he still works there um anyway there was a co-worker that i had he told me that he got into a car accident when he was 17 years old really bad car accident i think he broke his leg or some shit anyway um and after that accident he actually ended up getting type 1 diabetes and obviously it was from you know injuries that he sustained and whatnot but he literally has like a pump and all that and when his sugar used to get low it was scary as shit because he his eyes were glossed over not only that he also like he couldn't he would slur his words and stuff and it was just like you could steal magnolia shit. yes and he always had like in his drawer a bunch of like sugary candy and like a uh, grape juice because grape juice has like the highest content of like sugar um but it was scary and even his wife was a um or she still is she's a physical therapist as well he's a, a pta and um she would call and we would sometimes have to call her and he and you could smell the sugar on his breath like that's that how bad insane. it was and i mean he would turn like bloodshot red he didn't know where he was there were times where he'd be pouring sweat and you're just like you have a pump with insulin in it already and it's still not regulating so the fact that you would charge someone 300 dollars for a vial of a medicine that you know and you would monopolize on these sick people like you're gonna make the money regardless why do you have to drive the price up to 300 dollars? like and at that point is it not a pre-existing condition like shouldn't that be covered i don't know it's like having uh, yeah. asthma my freaking asthma medicine is so expensive and i'm like yeah. i can't breathe but even i feel like people who have type 1 diabetes i feel like those are the people honestly who shouldn't be working 40 hours a week because sometimes you just can't control your blood sugar. You can do everything right. You can eat mm -hmm. right. You can sleep right. You can do everything right. Your body is still not cooperating with you and doing what it needs to do. So it's just like, you know, you are being forced to work all these crazy hours to be able to have insurance to then be able to afford this $300 vial of medicine. It's insane. Like, why isn't that already an over the, well, it can't be over the counter, obviously. But at the same time, it's just like $300 for some goddamn insulin is ridiculous. Yeah. I don't pay for Percocets anytime I have to get them or, you know, Percocets. not. Uh, what's Percocets. the other one that I got? I was going to say, you pay for Percocets. Tramadol. God damn. Tramadol. Yeah. I haven't had Percocets since I got my wisdom teeth taken out a few years ago. Well, yeah. I think I, no, I don't have any more. I think I sold them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> On the I didn't black sell. market. Nah. No, it's insane. Like, I, keep I, all I feel like we are one of the only countries that has pharmaceuticals to the extent that we do, like paying yeah. for pharmaceuticals mm -hmm. like this. We're one of the only countries that has commercials for pharmaceutical drugs. Yeah. It's insane. Well, because even like um, you think about people who have like HIV or AIDS and people, they, they will literally commit these petty crimes in order to go to prison so they can at least get their HIV medication because they can't afford it. I mean, I used to work in a prison and you would see people come in there for petty shit all the time just to be able to get the dose of their meds. And that's insane that you have to create a criminal record for yourself just to get fucking care. Like it makes no sense. Breaks makes no heart. sense. Even cancer, you know, cancer medications for people. And I mean, good for, first of all, kudos to these people. They're out in, actually out in Oakland. It's a smart um, enough to make a difference. Yeah. But I just, I hope that them trying to open source insulin does not create another monster where people are basically trying to make crack cocaine like how they did in the nineties. Yeah. And you lacing that shit with stuff and it's really becoming another pandemic of, yeah. you know, issue. Hopefully the Gen Zers will keep on top of that. I hope They're so. really riding crusades out here. We got to get it out on TikTok. We'll be like, hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. There's this one company that's trying to do it. Yo, so we have nothing to do with it. Yeah. But I mean, you're giving out free condoms and stuff to kids and putting them in, you know, uh, what's some things called vending machines. Why can't we put insulin vials in vending machines? Why can't you give that out? It's not just people who, you know, obese people who have diabetes. It's I also mean, they have juvenile so diabetes. Many, yeah, they have so many advancements, like all the cool little tracker, not trackers, but the, the little pumps and the stuff. little pumps and yeah. stuff that go to your phone or mm -hmm. are super tiny now. So like, yeah, this is just one of those. I don't understand why. Yeah, it's because they can make money off of it. It's because people need it. You literally cannot live your life if you have yeah type one or diabetes is bad enough you cannot live your Absolutely. life without fucking insulin yeah definitely. so there's a market for it there will always be a market for it and people are gonna make money off of it yeah because even too like this one girl on tiktok she was talking about how she has type 1 diabetes and that her vial once she punctures the vial 
even though she only takes one dose out of it, she can't reuse the vial because of like um, uh, cross contamination and all that kind of stuff. And she's like, look at how much insulin is being left in here. Mm -hmm. And I paid all this money for this vial. Like that's fucking stupid. And then there are, you know, people on TikTok who are showing you ways of how to conserve your insulin. Oh, I did see the thing where you like, it's the little baby pump and they take yeah. it out and they can reset it. They so can reset it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, and I you can get more that. of your medication. And I'm like, yeah. people shouldn't have to have to do that or ration off mm -hmm. and come into a hospital with, you know, diabetic ketoacidosis or some yeah. shit or come in diabetic comas Dude, and whatnot. You know? I, so that shit scares me now that I've seen how bad it can get. You see people come in, no one knows what's wrong. Yeah. They're, people are like, they're encephalopathic. We don't yeah. know what's going on they might have had a stroke it's just dka yeah the, the, it's gotten so bad that they it, they're presenting like a stroke yep. they don't know where they are half their body's not working they can't follow commands mm -hmm. nothing and it takes weeks yes it does for that shit to it resolve because even to you you'll you'll have these young kids that'll come in or these young adults that'll come in and literally their blood sugar when they come in is like 20 and you're like what the fuck or they'll come in and it's like 900 900 and you're like you're supposed to be in a goddamn <laughs> coma like what the hell yeah like we see we see dka cases all the and time. it's scary how long because to me like oh there's my sugar is unbalanced once we get it balanced yeah i should go back to normal and it doesn't fucking no. work that way once they'll uh, you, your vitals will be normal and you'll still be acting funky yeah can't follow commands can't talk mm -hmm. you talk in one word sentences can't answer questions yeah. can't sit at the edge of the bed by yourself but you're technically okay now mm -hmm. yeah. oh that shit is scary and they put you on the insulin drip and they're just like oh follow up with your bcp well bitch that's why i'm <laughs> in the hospital because i didn't have a pcp in the first yeah. place or i didn't have you know money for my meds it's or whatever an expensive habit to not have been asked for to not have done any Thing. it's yeah. not like a drug habit it's not like you know you started on this path you weren't drinking right. alcohol you just fucking have diabetes exactly and it's and an even, expensive and thing even two people who you know they turn to a plant-based diet because people think again diabetes is just about you know what you eat and it's not necessarily all your about body that. just isn't your body is not regulating it. Doing. right it's the same thing with high cholesterol or whatever the case may be so it's not just only that oh you eat sugar all the time i got the sugar no it's not <laughs> about candy motherfuckers it's about everything you put in your mouth every carb you put in your mouth your body turns it to fucking sugar that's it. It's not about the sugar you're eating. It's about mm -hmm. the process and the physiology of how your body is processing the foods that you're eating. So, yeah. Read a book. Fucking losers. Go okay. spend hundreds of thousands of dollars getting a degree like we did so you can learn about it. Please don't do that. That's the worst thing you can ever do in your life. <laughs> don't go to college. It's a fucking trap. <laughs> Get a certification. <laughs> go, go to, to perfusion Google. school. <laughs> go to perfusion school. One year. In and out. <laughs> For all our listeners. If your kids don't know what to do with their life, go to perfusion school. It's perfusion. P-E-R-F-U-S-I-O-N. Indeed. Indeed. So yeah, so uh, shout out to those biohackers. I don't That's know why they're cool. calling them biohackers. I think they should be called heroes. Biohackers reminds me of hacker jackers from uh, the one hundred. No, ew, ew, no, I hate that show. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence movie. The Hunger, Hunger Games. The Hunger Games. Thank you. Whoa. Tracker Maybe jackers. my sugar is low. Tracker jackers. What did I say? Hacker jackers? You said hacker jackers. Tracker jackers. Yeah. I don't know what that was. That was just as bad as, what was it? It's getting hot in here. What is it for name? Die hard again. Die what did hard you, again. Or no, what did you call it? Time how to, to die. How to, how to kill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they are. Like how to die from. or uh, something. Yeah. Day of the Dead. Something. Anyway. Yep. The so, other yeah. The other was Mortos, everybody. That's yeah. what she called it. Anyway, anything else we need to discuss uh, this week? No, or, that's it. Know? Everyone pray for me because I'm going back to work after a one week hiatus and I'm not sure I will make it. Um, Am I in COVID this week? I don't know. Oh my God. Oh no. You oh no. Are. No. <laughs> oh. <Brad>. Nope. <laughs> now you finally found it. Oh no. Hopefully you're not. Oh, you're probably not. You're probably my not. poor back, dude. It's not good. Listen, let the patients fall. Shut up. Let them fucking patients fall. No, I'm, st I, dude. I have fight or flight and it's always fight with the, I don't know why with the patient. I'm like, Oh, I have to do everything I can. I've just made a conscious decision uh, <laughs> as of, as of recently that I am not in a, I don't want to say anything to incriminate myself. So I'll be very careful. I am not sacrificing myself for any job, any patient or any situation. Well, no body is more important than another. That's very true. My, my body is more important. I will always choose me in every situation. Um, I don't care how sick you are. I am not sacrificing my body, my mental health for you, your job, or anything else. I've decided not that doing. this is just my job, but there's an emotional tax on the specific job that we do. 
absolutely but this is still just my nine to five job and i'm trying not to let my emotions get the best of me it's very hard to separate that yeah it's very very hard to separate that when you have these very close personal connections with people yeah to cut it off and be like hey i know we spend uh, an hour every day together and you're in a real shit situation mm -hmm. and i'm the one who's helping you through it but uh, i gotta go it's 12 30 i gotta get off the floor yeah i gotta chart and go the fuck home because mm -hmm. i'm i'm going to lose it yeah because i'm just meant first of all we're traumatized at work every day like you ever <laughs> go to work okay i know we're going off on a tangent you ever go to work and you have a great awesome time driving to work and here's my routine when i go to work in the morning i say my daily prayer on my way to work so that gives me an opportunity to talk with god commune with god and then I turn on trap music. I, judge me if you will. Bam, bam, exactly. bam. Shut that booty. Pop, 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 pop. So I do that. And then when I get to work, sometimes it's like the first person you see just ruins that yeah, whole Yeah, it's either vibe. a hit or a miss. And it's just like you walk in and they're just like, what's going on? And you're like, <laughs> fuck you. Get the fuck out of my face. God damn it. Hey, I just got to work. Oh. If I hear the words Bible study within the first 30 <laughs> minutes of being at work, I know it'll be a shit day. And that's just, not anything against the Lord. No, it's, it's the just, people, it's Jesus' people. <laughs> it's, it's the followers of Christ specific to me in my life right now. <laughs> and it's just setting me on a path. No, I 100% know what you mean. And that yeah. pisses me off because I'm like, now I'm gonna give, not that I'm gonna give shit care to people, but I'm like, my caliber is here. I and just want know, you to leave people alone. You just, in the morning, give me an hour. Can we just, can we normalize shutting the fuck up at work? Can we please normalize coming into work, doing your fucking job, and going the fuck like, home? Not Stop everyone, talking to people. Not everyone has kids and has to be up at 5.30. And so by no. the time you get to work, you've been up for three hours doing some bullshit. I am still waking the fuck up. Stop I haven't talking. even had my coffee because I clock in and then go get my Thank coffee. I don't like you. And every time I come into this office and I purposefully do not speak to you, I don't want to speak just yet. The only person I have spoken to in this morning is the lord the lord it's a speak when okay. spoken to for me and i want everyone to understand don't even that. say good morning just speak don't when, even say good morning if i address you then, and you don't address me we're gonna have a fucking problem but if you talk to me first and i don't want to speak it's your head what happened to the head nod can we just go back to the head nod? you know why it's because our fucking hospital did the whole like if you're 50 feet from someone make sure you say hello <laughs> make sure you give nonverbal contact at 50 feet and at 10 you give a verbal and here, here's hello. the sad part i should have knew that that was that was the first sign of toxicity at our job yeah like no matter how you're feeling or what's going on with you or who you're t addressing you have to give a smile and give a, a smile a nod and say something nice to them no i'll purposely just no right because what you. if what i want to say is real shitty and i'm trying to be professional like, in the hey good place. morning monica fuck you too Mm-hmm. Because even if I say that, right? Like someone's like, "Hey, good morning." I'm like, mm -hmm. Then they're gonna be like, "Oh, are that you in a bad rude. mood? Are you in a bad?" And then they ask, no, not. "Here's the thing: If I respond to you, and your immediate reaction is, are you in a bad mood? Why the fuck would you keep talking to me? It, thank you. Stop, stop there, or because you obviously you. not in a bad mood. Don't even ask about it. Just be like, right. oh, I'll talk to her later and see if her day gets better.' Or if I ignore you, just don't talk to me. Just don't. Because some I'm people are not ignoring you. And not only that, we are in the middle of a pandemic, people. Some, you don't know what people are going through at home. Some people are traumatized at work, at home. They never get a place of peace. You know, people are going through a pandemic still by themselves. You don't know what people are dealing with. Leave people the fuck alone. I know you think you're just being nice, but shut the fuck up. Whitest thing about me is the no teeth smirk with the eyes. Yeah. And that's what that's the energy everyone's getting this week. I'm going to play this video I saw on uh, TikTok. And it just, it just blessed my soul. And I hope y'all get a blessing from it as well, too. Let me just play this real quick. Blessed. I don't really know who needed to hear this, but shut the fuck up. Shut up. Just shut, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Just shut up. Shut up. That's, Thank you. Yes. And that was from uh, Rin's World on TikTok. R-I-N-N-Z-W-O-R-L-D-D. -D. Follow her on TikTok sometimes it's like silence is golden it's priceless it really and it's just a beautiful fucking thing especially, especially when you're at work <laughs> especially when we have to spend the whole day filling yes sil like when we're in a patient room there's nothing awkward most of the time than fucking silence yeah. because either they're shitting or you're wiping an ass or, or they're dying or they're dying <laughs> so right. this is a fucking slapstick comedy over here especially yeah. when we're all, oh shit it's quiet <laughs> how's the weather oh she's doing this let's try so like my whole Step day is just trying to fill a fucking void to make sure it's not awkward for the patient yeah. or make sure they're okay or checking in with them and blah, blah, blah. so let me fucking be quiet in the office but the thing is quiet. too i don't think people realize how much we talk for a living like aside from this podcast 
We literally talk for eight hours. I hate talking after work. Fucking day. When I come home, there are some days, and I I'm gonna confess this, so I do apologize, Auntie Liam. I mean, Auntie Monica loves you, (laughs) but there are some days where Liam may Facetime, and I'm just like, I can't. There are sometimes my best friend will call, and I'm just like, "Mm -mm." and she'll be like, Hey, I called you. I'm like, Yeah, girl, I was asleep. I'm lying. I want to not disturb the chick. I just don't want to talk. I I've been talking all fucking day because sick of my voice. What seventy nine point eight six percent of the people I interact with on a daily basis don't want to fucking talk, and it is my job to bring it out of them so that they'll do what the fuck I want. Right. So I'm nonstop talking and nonstop manipulating and pulling information out and trying to find one thing that you enjoy so that we can get through this fucking session and you're not a pain in my ass anymore. So no, I don't want to talk when I get off work. Exactly. Uh, Or when I come into work, I just want to shut up. I need to, I need to like gear up. You know, I need you to don't shut the fuck up because nobody asked you, bitch. No, I just need to shut, shut the fuck up, up bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Bow, bow. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Bow, bow. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Bow, bow. <laughs> that was that really going. be our song. That was from a young lady from TikTok. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> on that note, on that note, thank you guys for tuning in. Please pray for me this week. It's gonna be rough. Please pray for me too, because I pray this week goes super fast. Because I go on vacation next week. Hallelujah! Oh, you bitch. Thank you, Jesus. Go All right, out y'all. There, spread love, spread light, do something good for yourself. Stretch, Absolutely. eat vegetables, brush your teeth, wash your ass, and a kiwi. I heard they're good for your bowels. Cool beans. Eat more fiber. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of The Face Off with Fleming and Fowler. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, including Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at The Face Off Pod. Be sure to tune into The Face Off with Fleming and Fowler every Tuesday when new episodes are released.